Hi friends! Today I'm going to show you a few different ballerina variations. Ballerina variations are hands down some of my favorite shapes, so I'm really excited to be teaching it today. Make sure you're fully warmed up and really stretch your back, obliques, and your shoulders. Starting from the ground, you'll have your inside arm high, and you'll want to walk yourself diagonal across the front of the pole. Grip with your bottom hand with your index finger down. Walk your body back a bit to wrap your inside leg in front of the pole. Kick off to get some momentum going and you're now in a ballerina spin. Extend your hooked inside leg and begin to bend your outside leg. Have that foot touch the front of the pole. Release your bottom hand and hold the shape. This is one ballerina variation. We can then transition into another variation by bringing our arm behind the pole. Starting in front of the pole again, but on the other side, this time we're going to grab the pole at the bottom with our inside hand. Then we're going to lean across diagonally to grab the pole with our outside hand. Stand up on your toes and kick off with your outside leg to create momentum. To really get your legs around the pole, you'll want to lift up with your hips to create space to get into that first ballerina variation. Our main contact points here is in our top hand grip, the glute area or the upper thigh of our inside leg, and our ankle on the outside leg. To transition into the next variation, you'll want to grab the pole with your free hand to assist you in placing your foot on the pole and also to help you bring your top shoulder behind the pole. Our main contact points for this variation is in your outside foot, your inside glute area, your top arm bicep, and you get some grip on the side of your body as well. To get out, you'll want to re-grip the pole with both of your hands, bring your extended leg back in to hook around the pole, grab the pole with your inside hand to unwrap yourself around the pole, and then lean sideways into your pole sit. We'll do it from the ground one more time, but I want you to really play around with the entrance so that you can style everything the way you like. I decided to include some air walks before transitioning into the ballerina shapes. Now we're going to take the shapes into the air. First I will show you what it looks like and then I'll explain with commentary. To get into our ballerina, we're going to have our inside arm high and our outside arm at hip level. Release the legs and bring your inside ankle in front of the pole and have the outside ankle behind it. Release the bottom hand and swoop it behind you to re-grip the pole. You'll then release your legs and lift with your core to bring your legs behind the pole. Hook your inside leg and bring the outside leg at a diagonal for the first ballerina shape. The closer your outside leg is to your inside knee, the faster you'll spin. When you're ready to go into the next transition, bring your top shoulder behind the pole and extend your hooked leg. Bend your outside leg in and have that foot grip on the pole. You can then release your top hand and hold the pose. To come out, re-grip the pole with both hands and release the bent leg. I'll show this one more time, but this time I'm including another ballerina variation towards the end.
Once you get here, you can just bring both of your legs behind the pole for the other ballerina variation. And now here I'll show all of the variations put together. Here's a clip from my Instagram doing a couple of these variations and I wanted to include it to show you another exit. I went into the pole sit and did this fun swirl move. I'm not sure if this move already exists, but if not, I've decided to name it Honey Swirl. I'll have a separate tutorial on this one soon. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions, reach out to me and I'll be glad to help. Talk to you soon.